There is no doctrine more excellent in itself or more necessary to be preached and studied than the doctrine of Jesus Christ and Him crucified. Our other knowledge, no matter how much it is magnified in the world, is and ought to be esteemed but dross in comparison with the excellency of the knowledge of Jesus Christ. In Him are all hid all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. Eudoxus was so affected with the, with the glory of the Son that he thought he was born only to behold it. How much more should a Christian judge himself born only to behold and delight in the glory of the Lord Jesus? Let the doctrine of Christ be considered absolutely, and then these lovely properties with which it is naturally clothed will render it superior to all other studies and sciences. The knowledge of Jesus Christ is the very marrow and kernel of all the scriptures the scope and centre of all divine revelations. Both testaments meet in Christ. The ceremonial law is full of Christ, and all the gospel is full of Christ. The best lines of the blessed lines of both testaments meet in him, and how they both harmonise and sweetly concentrate in Jesus Christ is the chief scope of that excellent epistle to the Hebrews. This argues the unspeakable excellence of his of this doctrine, the knowledge whereof must needs therefore be key to unlock the greatest part of the sacred scriptures for it is in the understanding of scripture much as it is in the knowledge of man of men have a have in logic and philosophy that if a scholar comes to understand the bottom principle upon which as upon its hinge the controversy turns the true knowledge of the principle shall carry him through the whole controversy and furnish him with a solution to every argument even so the right knowledge of Jesus Christ, like a clue, leads you through the whole labyrinth of the scripture.